Hello my friends, Gabriel here, welcome to another video, you're watching AvoHD and today I'm gonna present you with uh, new gadgets that I bought this is the iPod Touch 5th generation 64GB model and as you can see it sports a very interesting color this is uh, lime or uh, green if you want for me it's a very fluorescent green but Apple calls it uh, lime uh, you may wonder why I bought this device. Well, basically I bought it because uh, I needed it for uh, for the camera, for the video camera actually, not uh, the photo camera. And because I um, I found find it uh, on a very good uh, deal, I decided to to buy one. So let's start with some specs. Uh, as I said, the iPod Touch uh, fifth generation. This is the 64 GB model that I have right here. It has a dual core A5 CPU inside, clocked at 1 GHz with uh, 512 MB of RAM. So, uh, not, uh, not uh, the best specs if you want. We have a front facing 1.2 megapixel uh, FaceTime camera capable of 720p. And on the back we have a 5 megapixel camera capable of 1080p uh, video. And I have to say that uh, I tested uh, the device and uh, the camera quality is actually very good. Especially the video quality. I really like it. So uh, one of my concerns regarding the video recording capability is gone. Because uh, this is mainly the reason for which I bought this device. Everything else is the same. This basically is an iPhone without the GSM functions. You cannot insert a SIM card in this. This is a media player if you want. You can still use it uh, like, uh, like a regular iPhone, but uh, you won't be able to, to make any voice calls. At least uh, not uh, with a SIM card. You can do calls with, uh, I don't know, Facebook Messenger, Skype, uh, Tango, WhatsApp and so on. The device uh, runs on iOS 8.4.1, which is uh, the latest uh, iteration of the software and in the next coming days it will be able to update to iOS 9 as Apple has uh, already announced. So if you are wondering if uh, this device uh, is good for something if it's worth buying it then uh, rest assured that uh, it will support iOS 9 and uh, basically it's still somewhat uh, future proof although the specs aren't the most impressive ones Apple has already released um, with the iPhone 6s uh, the 6th generation of the iPod which is a uh, very powerful device with uh, very powerful specs with uh, very good CPU uh, GPU and so on so you can buy that one if you want but it will be a lot a lot more expensive than uh, the fifth generation that I have here battery life has been great I get uh, at least one day of uh, battery usage with my type of usage Let's go to settings again, usage, and as you can see right here, I have no problems, no problems with battery life. This was another big concern for me, because I didn't know what to expect, but fortunately I am very satisfied and I'm happy to report that uh, battery life is not a concern. With this device. I do use my device mainly for uh, taking pictures, uh, taking videos, lots of uh, social media and uh, some different uh, different things. So with my type of usage I have no problems in this department. Performance wise it's very fast, very smooth, I had no issues. I would have preferred for this uh, gadget right here to have uh, one gigabyte of RAM Unfortunately, it supports only 512 uh, megabytes, but um, 
so far everything is great, uh, loads faster. I haven't uh, encountered any issues, any bugs with uh, with the device uh, so far. So uh, iOS uh, works uh, flawlessly on uh, the iPod 5th generation. And uh, pretty much I'm, uh, I'm very happy with it. If you're in search of um, for a device like this, I highly recommend it. And uh, considering the fact that I'm not a big Apple fan, and I really don't uh, love iOS in particular, uh, I do enjoy this gadget right here. I'm very satisfied with, uh, with this gadget, so I highly recommend it. This is my uh, real user opinion, so uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, share and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos. As always my friends, I'm Gabriel, be safe, be good, see you in the next one, peace.